Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm EJR, and today we're going to be talking about something a little different. How I received my two-year associate's degree in computer science, uh, what classes I took, how hard it was, and let's go ahead and jump into it. So when I first started school, I was kind of jumping in and out of what I wanted to do. I started in you know, business, starting, and then uh, you know, I left school for a while. Uh, you know, I was taking a class here and there. I wasn't really serious. I started working in an office, and I saw what uh, an IT did, and I actually pretty liked it. You know, I thought it was a pretty cool job, and I was like, oh, maybe I should go back to school and you know get a associate's degree in IT. So that's what I did. I went back to school, and I got I started you know taking classes for IT. Then I started watching you know YouTube uh, videos about uh, you know computer science you know majors and you know coders and programmers, and I was like, oh wow, this is pretty cool. You know, I started watching you know. You know, the basics that everybody watches. I watch uh, Jarvis Johnson, Joe Matek, Tech Lead, you know, uh, CS Dojo. I watched this video with uh, Bill Gates. I think it was called uh, Soft Tech. It was a video by Soft Tech, and it was a video of Bill Gates explaining how easy coding was. And, uh, you know, I was like, ah, I should try this. The main YouTuber I was watching was CS Dojo. Uh, you know, he was teaching me uh, Python, and he was, you know, teaching how to make, uh, you know, while loops, if statements, variables. Uh, you know, we did a simple uh, BMI calculator and, you know, you know, he taught me how to, you know, print Hello World. And as soon as I printed Hello World, I knew I wanted to be a coder. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I got bit by the coding bug and I decided to take an intro class into uh, computer science. And it was pretty cool. It was called uh, CISP 300 and it was uh, algorithm and problem solving. And, uh, you know, I'm going to show you a transcript of all the classes that I took. And I'm also going to, but we're going to highlight the only the computer science classes because I want to show you, uh, you know, which classes I took and what exactly we learned in them. I remember watching a tech lead video and he was talking about how the first intro class for computer science uh, majors is kind of a class to weed out people that aren't really uh, willing to, uh, you know, put in the, the work for, you know, programming and, you know, you know, uh, computer science. And it was pretty true, um, I remember. And I think it was more true because of the uh, teacher I took. Like, um, this is a rate my professor of, of the teacher. And, uh, he, you know, he was really, really strict. Really, really strict. And uh, that's a big reason why I, uh, I, I chose him because, but yeah, I really wanted to learn the material. So I remember uh, we started off the class with like 40 students. Uh, there, yeah, there was like 40, stu 40, 40 students of us. After a week, there was like 20 of us. Once the midterm hit, there was like 10 of us. Uh, at the end of the class, at the end of the year, it was like, there was like nine of us. Like it was, we were just dwindling, <laughs> you know, little by little, class by class, week by week, because he was just so strict. And uh, I feel like I learned so much in that class. He was a great teacher. You know, I, I, I got a lot of help. Um, you know, I went to office hours a lot. You know, um, I learned a lot. I learned the basics for sure. But uh, in that class, uh, CSP 300, Problem solving algorithm development. We learned, you know, the basics of syntax, basics of uh, how to uh, tackle a problem, and um, you know, create algorithms. Uh, we learned how to, you know, tackle a problem and split it up into smaller pieces. And uh, you know, we learned, you know, as far as variables, you know, if statements, while loops. Uh, we learned arrays. Uh, we learned, um, you know, imp simple input and output. We learned, you know, simple uh, sorting algorithms. If you're really serious into uh, learning, I would I would recommend this book. It's called Algorithm Development by Tony Gaddis and uh, CSP 300. And it, it's really uh, it's really simple. It's a really simple book. You know, it breaks down you know everything step by step, piece by piece. You don't really uh, learn any particular language, but um, it uses a uh, pseudocode and it just teaches you the basics of, of programming. So yeah, you should take a look at it. The second computer science class I took was CSP 360, and it was an introduction to uh, uh, structured programming. You know, part of it was a review of uh, CSP 300, but we use C++ to uh, practice with the concepts. Uh, we started to learn um, more, you know, advanced concepts. We uh, learned about um, arrays. We learned about vectors, pointers, uh, class classes, dealing with objects, structures. Um, we learned a lot, and uh, we practiced a lot. We also learned about writing and reading in, of, in and out of files. So the third class I took was CSP 400. And it was uh, object-oriented programming with C++. Uh, we learned basics of uh, Linux and Unix. Overload operators. We learned uh, classes. We, we, we dealt with more complex problems of classes. We learned about inheritance, polymorphism. So the fourth class I took was a CSP 310, and it was assembly language. This, the teacher was also a big challenge. 
uh, he was so hard that he even uh, made up his own um, grading, grading uh, system. Uh, you needed a 37.5% in the class to pass. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a tough class, tough class. He was just uh, really challenging, but I learned a lot. We learned about uh, simple arithmetic with binary numbers. You know, we learned about uh, changing uh, bases, base, you know, base 10 to base 2 uh, to base, you know, hexadecimal, you know, base 8. We learned about um, taking high-level languages and uh, turning them into assembly language, which was, pre which was pretty cool. Uh, we also learned about, um, you know, building circuits with logism, which was pretty, pretty cool. It was actually really cool. So the fifth and sixth classes I took, they were, uh, I took them together. And it was a uh, CSP 430, which was data structures. And then CSP 440, which is discrete mathematics, discrete structures with mathematics. Data structures, we learned about, you know, stacks, heaps, uh, binary trees, hash tables, searching algorithms, sorting algorithms. We learned about uh, time complexity with big O notation. 440, we practiced some more with... Uh, Arithmetic with a binary representation. Learned about sets, relation and functions. Learned about propositional logic, uh, proofs, uh, matrices. But the, the last class I took was CSP 401, and it was uh, it was actually an elective course for the um, university I was gonna transfer over to, and it was uh, object oriented with Java. So again, you know, I learned about you know classes, object oriented programming, inheritance, polymorphism. But the coolest thing about that class was at the end of the year we had a, a project where we had to build an app. I built a blackjack app, blackjack app, which was pretty fun to build, and it was pretty cool to play. But uh, yeah, this is my uh, you know associate's degree in computer science. You know, I finished back in December seventeenth, twenty twenty. But as of right now, I'm actually at a university right now, and I'm uh, trying to finish. I'm working on trying to finish my bachelor's in science of computer science right now. I'm taking an uh, you know advanced algorithm class. I'm taking a blockchain class about Bitcoin. Um, I'm taking a again. I have to you know take a computer architecture class. Um, because I mean, they didn't accept my assembly language class. But you know, CS is a great major, and it's very valuable, especially in today's market. You know, there's a lot of job opportunity. You know, great income, and uh, you know, I think anybody could do it. And uh, you know, it's just there's so much help out there nowadays. You know, with the internet, with a uh, YouTube, with Google, you know, everything. There's so much help and opportunity out there. And you know, I think anybody could do it. You know, you just gotta really work hard, stick with it. You know, believe in yourself. You know, dedicate yourself and you know everybody's path is different you know you know anybody can do it and you know i hope this helps but i, I truly believe everybody should take at least an intro class to algorithm development just because you know it teach it does teach you how to think logically and um yeah that's it guys if you like the video please be sure to like subscribe below comment below about your path in uh, computer science and i'll see you all next time peace